Hey guys, this is Cyfun back with another video, and I just wanted to show you guys the uh, Outworld that I just set up for my ants, which are coming along quite nicely. We'll do a, uh, an update video on them very soon, as uh, that queen that had an egg before now has three, and is tending to them and doing very well. But um, I just want to show you guys this Outworld here, um, and what I did, and it's not even done yet, I actually just did this yesterday, but um, we'll get to that in a second. Um, this is an Ants Canada one, it came with the, uh, it came with the Formicarium that I bought. Um, it was like a package with all that, the Tetramorium one, the Tetramorium group. Um, it's very nice. It has a cap, which is right here. Um, so you don't even really have to worry about getting any of the, um, insecta slip or any of that, because when you have this lid, they can't get out anyway, um, as long as you're watching them. But, um, what I did was, the first thing I did was I, uh, I poured some concrete in the bottom, a very little bit. As you can see, I sloped it up in the back more, which, um... And Canada does as well, but it just makes it a lot easier to see as it slopes up here. Number one for video, it slopes up in the back there. Number two for removing um, ant waste, the garbage, dead ants, um, wherever they make any of their garbage piles or anything, it'll make it a lot easier to remove in the back. Um, I'm also going to be adding a little bit of soil that they can move around, that they can do whatever they want with, but um, I haven't added that yet. I'll be doing that in a little bit. But um, otherwise, yeah, while the cement was still wet, I got some sand, some white sand here, poured that in. A um, little bit of that, which they can now move around, do whatever they want with that. Also, some rocks that are dug in really well into the cement. The cement isn't even fully dry yet, but it's getting there. And then some twigs that they can do whatever they want with. Um, then there's these holes down here for the actual tubes to go in, which, as you can see, I've left open so that I can still get the tubes in. There's two of these things here that came with it that slide in on this side, just like that, or on the other side. Oh, uh, well... Yeah, there we go. Um, so I can do whatever I need with those two. So this is awesome. I'm going to go probably put the soil in and we'll be back. All right, the soil is in. As you can see, it's just a little bit. It's just enough so they can kind of customize whatever they want or if they uh, want to make a garbage pile in it or whatever they want to do. Um, I'll probably have to replace it every once in a while, but um, otherwise it's in good shape. Um, if you guys want to see me actually making one of these with the cement and everything, just let me know, um, and I'll make a video with another Outworld on how to actually make them. Um, uh, I will still be adding probably some plastic plants to this, but it's kind of a, uh, a look more like this I'm going for. Um, but I'll add a little bit of plastic plants somewhere in the back, maybe. Um, but otherwise, it's pretty good. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any ideas, things you want me to talk about. And uh, I can't wait to move my ants in. Thanks guys for watching. Peace out.